Hey, wig friends. So I thought I would just uh, jump on here real quick um, and give you an update on myself and a few wigs um, on myself in case you're interested. Maybe you're not. But uh, my husband, who had the triple bypass surgery, is back at U of M because he had a very large uh, blood clot develop in his lungs. However, um, they've been treating it, and he may come home tomorrow, so that's that's good news. Um, as for myself, I recently was diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis, along with my Hashimoto's and whatever else it is I have. I can't even keep track of them anymore. Um, what AS is, is a um, autoimmune disease, which is a arthritis that targets primarily bigger joints like your lower back and your hips and but it can actually go all over your neck your hands it can it can be anywhere so that's that is kind of a bummer i may have to go on a biologic which i'm not keen on in a pandemic but uh you got to do what you got to do so that's it on uh, me the farm is doing great animals are doing great uh the weather here is turning cooler which is kind of nice. I have a long sleeve shirt on today um, and the trees are starting to change and uh, fall is definitely here. So let's get started. The wig I have on is Emma by Envy in Sparkling Champagne. Still loving this wig. I love these fibers. Um, I have not washed her yet, but I think when I do, um, I'm going to use my products, I have Belle Madame and um, Aesthetica hair care products to wash it. Uh, it is mostly synthetic, so I'm thinking should be okay. Um, I did see that they are selling um, like a package of thing of, of products you can buy for this Envy, uh, Envy hair. Um, I just don't want to spend the money on it. <laughs> I only have one, so uh, I'll let you know how that goes once I finally wash her. So uh, just love these fibers, though. Uh, I mean, this looks like 100% human hair when you're out. It just has no shine. I feel very comfortable in it. As for the cap, um, and some people were saying that they felt that it ran small, and when I initially put it on, it did feel a little small. And as you can see, it doesn't have a ton of give. I am 22 and a half, and with my very fluffy shoulder length curly bio hair, I'm probably 23. Um, it's not so tight at all that it bothers me, and I am a little bit sensitive uh, to tight wigs. And I've noticed if a wig is a little tight on me, um, I tend not to reach for it. So, like, if I'm going to be out all day, doing stuff, I'll be like, oh, I, I don't want to wear that. I might just instinctively, instinctively do not reach for it. I'm not finding that's the case with this piece. So it's just fitting me. I mean just. So if you're bigger than me, I, mm, unless you know how to stretch a wig, I just wouldn't do it. Um, this color is beautiful. I'm still very happy with it. Um, it's a really lovely color. Uh, I'm not sure, as I said before, if it looks a little bit different on this human hair blend than it does on full synthetic, but this is very pretty because I've not had um, a full synthetic Envy piece, but I do know this is a popular color and it's I, I really have been enjoying it. So moving on to the next wig. Oh, this one. Okay, the next one is going to be Delgona 16 by Beltrus. Now, I've had, this is my third one. I, I really wanted Butterbeer Blonde because it's my favorite color. And they didn't have it, so I ordered Honey with Chai Latte. It was okay. It's a little yellow gold for me. Um, yeah. And so I ended up selling it, and then I bought uh, Brown Sugar Sweet Cream, which I think is a beautiful color. I'm just, I, I just kept wanting it to be more blonde. I'm like, I should just wait and try to find a Butterbeer Blonde. And so that's what I did. I sold that one, and I saw Wig Sister selling the Butterbeer Blonde, and I jumped on it. Uh, so I got it, put it on, loved it, was so excited, wore it out shopping, came home. 
and mother of pearl, let me tell you what, under here in this nape area, and I only went to two stores and came home, this was completely and totally frizzed out. I had to, I actually had to, and it had a, such a bad tangle in it, I had to um, actually cut a little bit of it out. And then I went over it with a little uh, steam and uh, then I put some silicone on it. And so I did end up spraying this whole area pretty well with some silicone. So we'll see next time I wear it if it continues to do that. If it continues to do that, that is a serious problem. And I own several Beltress wigs. I don't have any problem with their fibers. I'm thinking it's the length of how this is hitting on me. Everybody's different. I'm tall. Um, although this particular piece seems to run a little longer than my other two pieces I had. Just a, a fluke. Um, boy, I don't know. So we shall see. That was very, very disappointing after everything. I, all the weight and two other colors and wanting to really get this wig and then getting it and having that happen was very disappointing. So again, it's just how it hits and rubs on your clothing. Um, you know, you can be a little cognizant of what you wear as far as the texture uh, to help with these kind of things and putting silicone on this area. Um, otherwise, style-wise, love it. Okay, I will put it on just for a second, just to show you what she looks like real quick. See, I love it. It's super, super cute. Look at that hairline. I love the color. I might even have decide to add a little bit more of a defined curl a little bit. I don't know. I just... I really do like it, mm. except for that nape. Okay, so next up, we're going to do my favorite, which is Peerless in Butterbeer Blonde by Beltress. And if you remember from my review, I said I was going to buy a second one because I just love it so much. Um... And then I was going to wear this one every day, like drive it till the wheels fell off and give you some update on it. Well, I ordered it, got it, put it on, and the bang, look at the bang on this. Okay. The bang on the one I got came to like right here. I'm like, what the what? So I kind of tried to see if it was going to blend in because this is how I want to wear it. And that was not going to happen. So I sent it back. Very, very disappointed. Um, so if you have Peerless, I mean, look at the size of my forehead. I mean, it's, you know, I got a pretty big forehead. And here's the length of these. This side is shorter for some reason. Oh, I just saw a hawk fly by towards my chicken coop. Um, so let me know on your, if you have Peerless, if you have a really short piece or it's short all over and it, I'm curious, like, is mine a unicorn? I hope not because I love it. I really want another one. Um, so for now, this beauty is being put away, kept for special occasions. It's got to last me. So I am in search of a peerless with a long, longer bang. I don't know if this is the anomaly or the one I got with the short piece was an anomaly. If you have this piece, let me know how yours is, okay? Down in the comments. Okay, last but not certainly least is my It Curl by Raquel Welch in Shaded Biscuit. I've been wearing this one a lot lately. Um, I really, really like it. I have no complaints, which is very odd because this is the type of wig I buy and then I sell 
and I'll tell you why. I always end up selling wigs that don't have a mono part. I say, it's not going to bother me, and then I end up selling it. <laughs> this one truly doesn't bother me. I have been wearing it for a while. I can tell you I love this wig. I have no plans on selling it. It has a lace front but no mono part, but you really do not miss it on this piece at all. And I just love this wig. I love how you can move the fibers around and then they just kind of stay where you put them. I love these curls. I think they're cute. I like this length because it's off my shoulders, so it's not going to wear. And um, it's it's going to be great for like winter turtlenecks, um, sweaters and things like that. And it's just such a flattering, you know, piece. And it's relatively inexpensive, relatively for Raquel Welch because it doesn't have that. And honestly, you really don't miss it. I'm not seeing like permatees in there. It just, it just looks, you know, like you got a lot of hair up there. And I, I keep it kind of fluffed. Oh, I love it. I, I love this wig. When I saw Leanne uh, from the Beauty Nook try it on in a live, she was so excited about it and she had such a sparkle in her eye and I'm like, ooh, I want that wig. And I have not been disappointed. It, I, I absolutely love it. And, I, you know, I like long hair, but in wigs sometimes it's just, you know, if there's a short piece that catches your eye and you usually wear long pieces, Try to find one that you like because it's nice, especially, you know, if you live in a colder climate where you do wear sweaters or turtlenecks or a heavy coat. These are going to last you because they're up off your clothing. Oh, so cute. So that's it for now. Like I said, I just, this was sort of a spur of the moment. I wanted to jump on. Uh, I've just been so busy and my husband is probably coming home tomorrow. So, um... It's a whole nother day driving down to U of M and I have really been meaning to get this, you know, an update on some of these wigs out. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments section and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. And again, let me know if you have Peerless. Let me know what your bang is like. I'm curious. Um, and that is about it. When I get uh, more wear and I finally wash that um, Envy Emma I will post again on that okay all right everybody have a great day and take care bye